nobody's going to understand it, so let's just tell them what to eat. And what we started doing was said, vegetables, proteins, grains, fruits, and you should drink, if you're going to drink something, drink milk. Make sense? Now, here's the problem with all of this. This stuff is all basically poison to you if you're not doing it in the right method. Are vegetables healthy? Yes. They can be. Are fruits healthy? Mm -hmm. They can be. Grains? No. Proteins? Depends on where you're getting them from. Dairy? Out of the question. And I'll tell you why in a moment. But look at this. 2016. You guys see the announcement that was made? The federal government said, guys, we, we're switching everything again. The obesity is getting out of hand. We have to change it. So they got connected with Harvard and Stanford and everything else. They're like, let's make this thing work. What's the first thing you see they change that they're asking us to now drink? Wow. Holy cow. Like, do you guys understand how huge that is? Like, I don't think you understand. The dairy industry right now is going against the government. How dare you tell people not to drink our product? You guys see a problem with this? Now, water's good. What they're still saying, though, is this didn't change at all. They're actually saying you need to add more oils like canola and olive. They're on the right track, but the problem is they're telling us to do it with an improper base. If you eat this way, I promise you, you're going to get sick. And that's what we're going to help you to understand. Make sense? So, fat consumption in the United States has dropped drastically. When did it start? Right there, around the 1960s. Boom. And as a result, sugar consumption in the U.S. has gone through the roof. Because here's what happens. You guys know this? If I take the fat out of food, what does it taste like? <laughs> Terrible. So what do I have to add back so that you'll buy it and you'll eat it? Sure. Like that sugar and other exactly. chemicals. As sugar yeah. starts to go up, here's the unique thing about your body. Mm. You will turn sugar into fat. Now, if you eat fat, what do you turn it into? Energy. Yeah. Energy. So does fat make you fat? No. No. <laughs> no. Fat does not make you fat. <laughs> Obesity is climbing like crazy because we took fat out of our diet. Mm. Now, let's talk, though, about this, right? They say, well, even if you are overweight, you should just be able to exercise it out. How come on earth then we have books like the so Slow Fat Triathlete? Because if you were gonna run 20 miles, remember Angela's like, I used to run eight, 10, 15, 20 miles. Did you know that when you run like that, your body goes like this, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> we are not designed to run for 10 miles. Did you guys agree? Yes. Like originally, we were designed to get from this tree to that tree without getting yeah. eaten by some sort of a lion, tiger, or a bear. Find the berries on the way and stand there and eat them really fast and then run the heck away. Like that's the original human body design. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So when we do this, we wonder, like, why, how come? Like, I don't understand. I went to the gym, I did 40 minutes on the treadmill, and I actually weighed two pounds more. Guess what your body does when you put it through a stress like that? It stores fat because it thinks, well, if you're going to do this, I better be prepared for the energy to make you run these 40 miles, so I have to hang on to your fat. You guys understand that? I have to hang on to the fat. But yet, that's what we're being told to do, right? Just eat less fat and go work out more. And what your body's going to do is go, no, 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 then you're never going to let go of this weight, ever. So what we want to do is do this. Understand that when you're overweight, even by the slightest bit, it puts